Have you ever pondered why some healthcare concepts are easier to grasp than others, or why certain patients respond better to specific treatment approaches? The answer might lie in a fundamental understanding of learning theories. So, buckle up as we delve into the fascinating world of learning theories and their relevance to healthcare education. First on the list is behaviorism. This theory posits that learning is a change in observable behavior caused by external stimuli in the environment. In the context of healthcare, behaviorism can be seen in action when a healthcare professional associates a particular patient response with a specific treatment method. This theory underscores the importance of practice and repetition in learning, highlighting the need for healthcare educators to provide their students with ample opportunities to practice and reinforce their skills. Next up, we have cognitivism. This theory emphasizes the role of mental processes in learning. It suggests that understanding, comprehension, and knowledge are key to effective learning. For healthcare educators, this means fostering an environment where students are encouraged to understand and internalize concepts rather than merely memorizing them. Thirdly, we have constructivism. This theory posits that learners construct their own understanding and knowledge of the world through experiencing things and reflecting on those experiences. In healthcare education, this could mean allowing students to learn through case studies, practical experiences, and interactive discussions, thereby enabling them to construct their own understanding of healthcare practices and principle. Fourth on our list is humanism. This theory focuses on the learner's capacity for self actualization. It's all about the learner's motivation and the effects of their feelings, needs, and values on learning. Healthcare educators can employ this theory by respecting individual learning styles and encouraging students to take responsibility for their learning journey, fostering a more personalized and effective learning experience. Last but not least, we have the sociocultural theory. This theory emphasizes the impact of social interaction, culture, and historical context on learning. In the realm of healthcare education, this could mean integrating cultural competency into the curriculum or encouraging group work to foster collaborative learning. To sum up, understanding these five learning theories, behaviorism, cognitivism, constructivism, humanism, and the sociocultural theory, can provide healthcare educators with valuable insights into how their students learn. This in turn can help them develop more effective teaching strategies, ultimately leading to better patient care. Each theory offers its own unique approach to learning, emphasizing different aspects of the learning process. By applying these theories in their teaching, healthcare educators can cater to diverse learning styles, enhance student engagement, and foster a more inclusive learning environment. Remember, the journey of learning is as important as the destination, so keep exploring, keep learning, and keep growing in the ever-evolving world of healthcare. Continuous learning is not just beneficial, but essential. This bite of learning is brought to you by Healthcare Simulation Middle East, a leading platform for healthcare professionals to hone their skills and expand their knowledge. We encourage you to dive deeper, question more, and continually strive for excellence in your field. Remember, every step you take in learning and teaching is a step towards better healthcare for all.